Welcome to Liberty News TV. I'm Norval Rose. You can stand strong and proud for conservatism, for free market capitalism, and against socialism. And you can win the argument and change a nation. That's what former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher did, and it's good to remember it with news of her passing. Margaret Thatcher, dead at 87. Thatcher, of course, was an unyielding ally of former President Ronald Reagan. Our current President, Obama, continues his campaign swing through states that have recently passed strict new gun control measures. Mr. Obama today in Connecticut, where the governor later this week is set to sign into law a bill, a 139-page bill, of new gun and ammo restrictions and regulations. On a weekend TV interview show, Connecticut's Governor Malloy set the tone certainly for moderate measured political posturing when he said of the NRA's Wayne LaPierre, he reminds me of clowns in the circus, going on to say of the NRA, they only want to protect the ability of the gun industry to sell as many guns to as many people as possible, even if they're deranged, mentally ill, a criminal background. They don't care, they want to sell guns. Governor Malloy, that is certainly setting the tone for civil political discourse. Friendly fire, so to speak, is being aimed at Obamacare, as a growing number of Democrats in Congress complain about problems in implementing the president's signature health care law, problems encountered by small business, problems encountered by constituents facing rising insurance premiums, problems with companies choosing to pay the fine rather than provide health insurance. We'll just see whether Congress actually does anything about these problems other than complaining. Yes, Congress is back in session this week. Main agenda items, gun control, immigration, and possibly some early debate on the budget proposal supposedly coming from the White House this week. Advance word on Obama's budget says it could go after IRAs and other retirement accounts, something people have long been concerned about. According to one senior administration official, it's just not fair that wealthy people accumulate many millions of dollars in these accounts, substantially more than is needed to fund reasonable levels of retirement saving. More than is needed? Reasonable levels? There could also be more tobacco taxes in that proposal, taxes that would fund the president's universal pre-kindergarten education program. Just got to get a hold of your children, sorry, their children our children as quickly as possible. It takes a government. And that's Liberty News TV for today. Please do check us out online at libertynews.com, become a regular there, and follow us on Twitter, where we're at Liberty Protecting. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you right here next time.